As we look towards a brighter future of, for Nigeria, focusing on key areas that can drive significant economic trans transformation is essential. One such area is our transportation system, and its potential future holds the promise of a complete turnaround in our economy. We are aware of the federal government's compressed natu natural gas initiative. Nigeria is not just an oil-rich nation. We are, more accurately, a gas nation. Our vast reserves of natural gas far exceeds those of crude oil. Despite this, we have not fully harnessed this resource until now. The federal government offers to convert commercial vehicles to CNG for free is a monumental step forward. This initiative can dramatically reduce fuel costs, lower emission, and enhance sustainability of our transportation sector. However, the success of this initiative hinges on more than just converting vehicles. It requires a comprehensive overall of transportation system. The Lagos State Government has been at the forefront of this effort, recently announcing plans to replace downfall buses on main highways with larger volume movers. This is, critical, this is a critical move towards modernizing our transport infrastructure. The special advisor to the Lagos State Governor has spoken extensively on organizing transport vehicle owners into clusters, a system that mirrors the efficient transport framework seen in cities like Dubai. In Dubai, a number of transport companies manage large fleets of taxis, ensuring accountability and streamlined operations. This model can be adapted to our context, making the free conversion of vehicles to CNG more feasible and efficient. The future of transportation in Nigeria, like any other sector, depends on clear thinking and political will. My advocacy today is directed at the government. The responsibility and opportunity to revolutionize our transportation system lie in the hands of both the federal and state governments. They must leverage the CNG initiative for cheaper fuel and organize our transport system meticulously. The government must leave no stone unturned in achieving a swift transition to a more organized transport system and cheaper fuel. This represents a major win for the government if pursued with determination and without reservation. Solving transportation issues will significantly impact our economy, akin to expanding our road network. This initiative must not be politicized. It is an urgent and practical solution that demands immediate action. By committing to this vision, we can pave the way for a more efficient, sustainable, and economically vibrant Nigeria. The time to act is now. And with concerted effort, we can achieve a transportation system that propels our nation forward.